You remember the ice white ones? That's what I'm putting on this tree. And these are snake lights. If you have found me through one of my videos about cluster lights, I just wanted to say hello, welcome. And the cluster lights are getting a lot of attention right now. They're beautiful lights, but I just want you to take a look at snake lights. If you're new and you just found me this year, you might not have seen the snake lights. I've been using snake lights for years and years and years. And I really prefer them on large trees and they let you go in and out on each branch and light each branch. And you can see they are the same type of light that you have on the cluster light. And they are just slightly further apart on, this, on the wire, not even a lot further, but maybe like from here to here. So each of these snake light strands has a thousand lights. I just wanted you to take a look at the snake lights. They're the, again, the same lights and I actually prefer them on my larger trees. I'm going to show you the more lighting tricks with these snake lights. These are the ice white lights. Also have the warmer holiday hangups, warmer color, and then I have the original warm white light and they're at holidayhangups.com and they're all also on Amazon. So, you know, take a look at the snake lights. The cluster lights are beautiful, but the snake lights are just as beautiful. I will agree, cluster light has the better name. Everything is a cluster at Christmas. You got cluster lights, you have clustered ornaments, you have clustered picks. Snake, not really a Christmas name, but, um, Think of another name for these lights and let me know and we will rename them. All right, I'm gonna take this snake light to the top of that tree and I'm gonna run it down the trunk. I think I'm just gonna do the one strand and maybe I do that twice. Maybe I do that on one side of the trunk and then use another strand on the other side of the trunk. We'll just see what happens when I get in there. So I did one snake light on the inside on this side. Maybe you can see it better there. So it's basically one giant zigzag on the inside near the trunk. And when I got to the bottom, I had a few extra, so I just wrapped around to the other side and did the very last row of branches on that side and then plugged it in down here. So I'm gonna do that again on this side with another snake light. And then I'm gonna do my regular zigzag technique on the outside tips of the branches. Usually I use five, I've used up to six snake lights on this 10 foot tree. I can see where having the lights in the, in the middle of the tree would help you use less lights on the outside of the tree because you might not be going as deep into the tree with your strands on the outside. So I don't know how many lights I'll end up with on the outside. Let's put another snake light down the inside trunk of this tree. I think it's gonna be great.
the second strand on this side near the trunk. I had extra at the bottom, so I went back up and tried to find where I'd lost my place. But anyway, that's that's two snake lights on the trunk, one on either side. They're basically in a big zigzag. One zigzag this side down in the, by the trunk, and one zigzag on this side on the trunk back pushed up into the branches near the trunk in the tree, okay? I am now gonna do the snake lights on the outside branches, just like I normally do. And like I said, I prefer to do that with a snake light. I think you could do it with a cluster light, but the bigger the tree, the more lights, the more wire, and this, the snake lights are a little more lightweight and just easier to pull in and out on each branch. That's my, that's my opinion.